Hello and welcome back. In today's video we'll do some fader configuration to make life easier during the show. We open tab 36 which is the fader configuration. As you can see there are a lot of settings you can choose for each fader. First I add the intensity filter to Submaster 8, 9 and 10. This way only intensity is applied with those Submasters. I also change the duration from hold to manual to be able to flash with the bump button. Submaster 1 is my strobe fader. As soon as a song gets crazy we would like all other lights to turn off and this strobe effect taking over as long as we press the button. Therefore we select the solo option for the upper button. The lower button will add the strobes to the scene. For this button we change the duration to manual. There is one submaster I would like to exclude from this behavior and that is my front lights. With the exclude solo option the front lights remain turned on during the strobe. I turn all color and effect submasters into effect mode and change them to intensity masters. This way I can easily turn them on and off with the bump button. All my effect faders do get a freeze option on the upper button to be able to take the current color combination or position of the effect. An up and down time of 1 second prevents the colors to switch with a hard cut when the smooth color effect is started. For the focus effects I use a time of 2 seconds. The faders themselves will control the effect rate from 1 to 200. My intensity effects get an intensity filter again. The up and down time is set to 1 second. The upper button is changed to freeze. The effect rate of the intensity effects will be 60 to 800. With this the fader configuration is completed, so we are ready to start busking. There are way more features in EOS you can use for busking. Let me know down in the comments what you think the most powerful busking feature is. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on this channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.